Greetings to all my brothers and sisters and dear viewers in the matchless and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we welcome you all to this gracious word program. May the grace of God and peace of Christ be with us all and guide us through the word of God. In our lesson today we are going to see important truth and let's first read this verse from Acts chapter 27 and verse 31. Paul said to the centurion and the soldiers, Unless these men stay in the ship, you cannot be saved. Here is a strong statement made by Paul that unless these men stay in the ship, they cannot be saved or they cannot escape. Based on this statement, unless they stay in the ship, within the ship, they cannot be saved. It's a, a general truth. One needs to be in the ship when they are sailing in the sea to be saved. So based on this statement, let's meditate some important truth from the Bible. So where is safety? Within what there is safety for our soul or our spiritual life? This is the truth that we are going to meditate today. Let's see first this verse Acts chapter 2 verse 47 which reads like this. Praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. This is a very important verse in the Bible which tells that the Lord added those who were saved into the church. We have to keenly listen that the Lord did not just left the saved people as such in this world to just go and see their life. But the verse clearly tells they were saved from the world, they were saved from the sins of the world, but the Lord added those people who were saved and he added them into the church. So, the first thing that we can see from the Bible is we have safety within the church. Many people do not realize this one. They do not know the truth behind this. Why the church is important? Why Lord God emphasized the importance of the church? The Bible tells that Lord Jesus Christ gave himself for the church to be saved. So, this is why the Lord added the saved people through the gospel of Christ, through baptism, the saved people are added into the church. So, there is safety within the church. This truth we must realize strongly so that we can know the importance of the church and we can be within the church all the time. So, the Lord added the saved people within the church and also we can read from Acts chapter 4, 12, we have safety in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's read Acts chapter 4, verse 12, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. There is no name in the world through which we can be saved. There is only one name, Lord Jesus Christ, through which we can be saved. So, we are saved by the gospel of Christ or the name of Christ or the authority of Christ and we are after being saved, we are continuously being saved or we are kept safe within the church. These two things are the only place where we can be safe. We are saved through the name of Jesus Christ or the gospel of Jesus Christ or the authority of Jesus Christ as described in the Bible. And after being saved also, we are being kept saved being in the church. So, the name of the Lord and the church are the two important things told by the Bible where we can be kept safe. There are some examples in the Old Testament which are typification or which are typified things for this truth that we have safety in the church. So, let's uh, meditate on those things. Let's first read Genesis chapter 7 verse 23. So, he destroyed all living things which were on the face of the ground, both man and cattle, creeping thing and bird of the air. They were destroyed from the earth. Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark remained alive. Only Noah and those who were with him in the ark were only alive. Since Noah and his family and all the living things that God asked Noah to bring them safe into the ark, these people were only safe because 
they were inside the ark so this is a typification of the much important truth that we are safe in the church so the noah's ark is a typification it's a typified example when they were inside the ark when the flood came everyone were destroyed but when they were inside the ark no one is family eight members and all the living things they were safe so similarly we being inside the church we being saved people by the lord's name or the gospel of christ after being saved we are kept safe inside the church so noah's ark is a typified example for us to know this truth let's also read exodus chapter 12 verse 22 and 23 and you shall take a bunch of hyssop dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two door posts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning for the lord will pass through to strike the egyptians and when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two door posts the lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you so this is also a typification of the eternal truth the much important truth that we have safety in the church and we have safety in the lord's name when the lord decided to strike down the egyptian the first born of the egyptian's family he asked the israelites to remain inside the house and he asked them to just make a mark on the lintel of their door steps with the blood so when the destroyer of the lord came and he sees the blood and when the israelites remains in their house they were not destroyed so to be safe they were asked to remain in their house with the blood being uh, shaded in the lintels of the door posts so this is what they had to be saved when the destroyer comes so for us to be safe we have to be in the church we have to worship as a church we have to follow the word of god as a church so we have to remain in the church the church is the eternal thing that the lord jesus christ would come for the church to take it to the father dear ones we can see some other examples also we can see about rahab's house rahab a woman she saved the spies israelite spies joshua and caleb and they in turn made her a promise when we are going to come and capture your city you will be safe if you remain in your house your relatives will be safe if they remain in your house so they have to be remained in their house to be saved yes my dear viewers why we need a place of safety why we need a church to be in the church to be safe why we need to be in the lord's name to be safe let's read some bible verses hebrews chapter 6 verse 18 says that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for god to lie we might have strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold of the hope set before us we need to be safe in the church to have the hope to maintain the hope that we have in christ uh, many occasions we lose hope and because of losing the faith or hope we miss the heaven so to save god our faith to have the hope sustained we need to be in the church so that our hope can be remain safe and matthew chapter 11 verse 28 and 29 says jesus gives a call to the common people those who are heavy and laden please come to me have a rest you give all your burdens heavy burdens to me and you just take this light burden with you so this is the thing to find rest for our soul to just pour down our heavy laden soul in jesus christ we have to be in the church yes my dear brothers and sisters and friends and viewers this is the truth that we have learned today we have to be in the lord's name we have to be in the church for our safety of the soul as paul tells in acts chapter 27 verse 31 the people inside the ship they have to remain in the ship for their safety when they were sailing so as a christian when i was saved by the name of christ by the authority of christ by the gospel of christ i am safe and to remain safely i have to be in the church and the bible emphasizes that truth so Uh, study more deeply 
to know what is the church and how to get into the church which lord jesus christ built we have the responsibility of finding the exact church mentioned in the bible we have to find that one and let god guide you in this process let's pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time to know the word of god we have learned today that we are safe in your son's name we are safe in the lord's name we are safe in the church which is the body of christ so help us to remain safe in the church and in your name lord jesus christ we pray amen it is god's will that you must be saved first listen to the bible truth and you must believe the truth then you must repent from your sinful life then you must confess by words that the lord jesus christ as the son of god you must be baptized for the remission of your sins every day our lord added those who were being saved into his church be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 arsradi madurai 625016 tamil nadu for more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you